Thank you to third frame. Mark Selby to break. Quietly, please, thank you. Yeah, it certainly is an interesting start for Mark Selby and uh, not the best break off. Uh, you want the white close to the cushion to prevent this type of shot. shot that Joe's just knocked in. The players do practice them. And you can see where he's left the cue ball. He wasn't playing it as a shot to nothing. It can be a crucial shot to start a frame if you can knock it in and get on a bolt colour. And you'd have to say Joe has certainly settled the better of the two. And he's in with an early chance. Oh. Let's see how many he can make here. He's got a couple of loose rides, but he's got a nice angle on the black hair if he wants to go into the pack here. Oh, he's settled for that. <laughs> Nicely on this red. going to go wrong and then that little nudge in the pink is left him perfect and that's the sort of thing that can happen if you start playing well. Yeah you get the little nudges here and there Ken and when you're struggling it, it goes wrong for you but he's, uh, he's looking very good here. Yeah black will be 28 he's got three open legs. Sixty-nine before his opponent will need a snooker. Twenty now into the pack again. Nice angle on the black because he'd be holding for the loose red into the same pocket as the black. Played it nicely. Didn't bring any reds. Could have played it with a little bit more pace just to bring some 36. reds into play. for the blue. If he gets a nice angle on the blue, he definitely go back into the pack of reds here. And just one good split and could be another frame on the board. Now, how's your split? Why didn't you hit it a little bit harder, Joe? 42. Sure, Dennis, why he didn't hit that just a little bit with a bit more pace. I mean, a bit more pace and be opening the reds into it. Surely would have been on one. That pace is going to always go wrong. Okay, he's got to feel himself a little bit unfortunate, but just have a look at the pace he's played this with. And I'll just hit it a little bit more. Yeah, it was just one of those you thought, if I get the cannon, I'm bound to be on one, but that's the sort of thing that can happen there. You can stick on a red and yeah that definitely would have been 3-0 if he had dropped on a red there with 42 points already on the board
Joe Perry, 42. Chance missed for Joe Perry. But he's still got a nice lead of 42 points. Max will be very relieved coming back to the table. He's looking to see if he can see enough of this red to maybe cut it into the corner pocket. I could never judge it looking from this side of the table, but Mark's had a look from both sides, and well, he's looking at the potting angle, so he feels he can get past the green just to clip the red. a bit of a distraction as we show you this attempt again. It was far from easy, but uh, the green's just distracting Joe a little bit with his bridge hand there to take this red on. In fact, he might refuse it in the end. Because the last thing you want to do with the 42-point advantage is miss one and put your opponent in with the ball sitting like this. That's a terrific shot. But with the bridge hand hampered with the green there, that was a very confident long red that he knocked in. That's pretty good, isn't it? Long pot success rate, 78%. So one nice cannon, and it's 3 0, you would say. But hang on, it's not the best cannon in the world. You're going to have to take the one up past the blue by the looks of things. Eight. It was another one of those shots he felt, if I get a cannon, I'm bound to be on an easy one. So one long straight red. Had some good results against Mark Selby. Mark leads the head to head 5 4, but Joe's wins have been 4 2, 4 0, 4 1, 5 1. Uh, always, as I said, a very consistent performer over the last 10 or 15 years, Joe Perry. Falling outside the top 16, and that's why he's had to qualify and win three matches. But won those matches very impressively indeed. Ross Muir, Jimmy White, and then his good friend Mark Davis. 19. He's been a professional 26 years, Cam. 27. Yeah, where have the years gone? I remember Joe coming on the scene. We used to play him as an amateur when you'd do exhibitions around the Wisbeach area. But he's got a great temperament and a great pace with his play. You know, he doesn't rush anything, but he's, he's quite fluent. Just a nice pace around the table. And this is every shot time, 20 seconds. It's pretty quick by anybody's standards. Forty-three. Forty-four. He's certainly putting the world number one and defending champion under a bit of pressure here. Nobody would have expected this score line. 
51. Fifty-two. He'll be hoping to knock the lot in here. Just to oh, he's played that too hard, so. Fifty-six. Joe Perry. Fifty-six. Mark stays in the seat. And the defending champion.